Hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be a little bit of a lengthy video, but I wanted to make sure that I put everything in. I will leave timestamps down below in case you wanna fast forward or skip over to something. There's a lot going on in this Manny. This is going to be my Facebook recreate. Every month in my Facebook group, there's a thread and people can post Manny's they've seen, whether it's off Pinterest or Instagram or Facebook or wherever of Manny's they want to see recreated and everyone votes on them and whatever gets the most votes, I recreate. And that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna throw a picture down here of the inspo photo. My nails are not gonna look anything like the inspo photo, just so you guys know. <laughs> I When I do these recreates, I try not to replicate. That, that would be like trying to paint something that Picasso painted. It's just never gonna look the same ever. So I put my own little spin on it. I use it more for inspiration than anything else. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to start with just my basic dip application. Nothing crazy going on here. And by the way, per usual, most of the stuff that I use will be down in the description box. If it's not in the description box linked or something, check my Amazon storefront. That's usually where I have all my basic stuff that you can find right on Amazon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch for just a bit. I'm just getting on this shell gray color. Um, it, uh, <laughs> this was one of those moments where I probably should have mixed a color because I tried this first with a darker gray and it just looked too dark for what I was going for. So I used the shell gray, which is entirely too light for what I was going for, but neither here nor there, it's what it's gonna be. <laughs> it just is what it is. I kind of like the way this Manny came out. I'm gonna consider it, uh, I don't know, Halloween chic-ish, maybe. It's gonna be a little bit fancy. There's going to be some marble. There's going to be some striping tape. She all know how I feel about <laughs> uh, striping tape and I are still not friends, but they're not frenemies either. So I guess we've moved on to Acquaintanceville, me and striping tape. Um, and uh, I'm going to do a little stamping. It'll come out cute. Uh, you guys will have to let me know what you think. If you are excited about my very next upload, it's gonna be on Halloween, by the way. Um, same time, same place. And it's going to be the Sparkle & Co. unboxing. I'm gonna do a whole Manny with the Sparkle & Co. stuff. And I'm also gonna be reading all of your ghost stories that you guys sent me. I'm so excited. Um, I read a couple just because I couldn't help myself, but a bunch of them are not read yet because I wanted to react. <laughs> <laughs> Even the ones that I read though, I'm like, I have goosebumps and chills everywhere thinking about it. So I'm so excited. Definitely come back on Halloween at some point if you have it time and you can check out the Sparkle & Co. sub box and hear me read all of your ghost stories. So with that, I'm going to proceed moving on to my black dips. Um, this is I gel at midnight. Okay, so now I'm gonna really go, let you guys watch for a bit. I am speeding through a lot of this because there's a lot of stuff to get through, but I will walk you through step by step. So stick around and I'll be right back.
Okay, so from the middle finger, the middle finger is going to be kind of like the accent nail, even though they're all really... Hold on, cat fight. All good. No fur was flying. <laughs> Boogie, who's the only male, <laughs> really, really loves Negan, who does not like him at all. He, he tries to love her. <laughs> She's not having it. Anyway, the middle finger is going to be the accent nail. And we're going to use gel polish on that later. So I'm just going to do dips in clear. And then we'll do the whole thing later on with some gel polish and some stamping and nail art and all that good stuff. So I'm going to, I think I'm just doing three total dips in the clear per usual. Normally I do, you know, two dips of color, one dip of clear. So on the clear nail, three dips, call it a day. And then we're going to get into some filing and buffing, which again, I'm going to speed through a little bit. Uh, I'm going to let you watch the whole thing, but I will be on fast forward just in an effort to save a little bit of time and not hold you all hostage forever and ever and always. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys watch that for a little bit, but I will hop in momentarily. Okay, so I really wanted to talk you through my new filing routine, which I am absolutely loving at the moment. Uh, this is going to be what I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future, at least. So I'm going to start with my e-file. Now, normally I started with my hand file. And you, I mean, this is just a me thing. Y'all can file however you want to file. <laughs> if you don't want to use an e-file at all, you don't have to. If you don't want to use a hand file, you don't have to do that either. It's whatever you're comfy with and whatever you like to do on your own nails. But for me, I like to start now with the e-file. And here's why. I just buzz around my cuticle area and my sidewalls, tighten that up a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with my hand file later and blend everything together and get my shape situated. And the reason I do this now instead of what I was doing before it really has been saving me a lot of time and I'm really enjoying more hand filing. I can't believe I'm saying that. I, I was terrible, god awful with a hand file when I started doing this. And I think I figured out why. Uh, the file I was using was way too coarse, A, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> but like everything in life, you know, you live and you learn. And with the help of just practicing figuring stuff out, watching a ton of YouTube videos. Thank you, Young Nails. <laughs> They're my mentors. They are my um, educational resource when it comes to nail type stuff. As you guys know, oh, you probably don't know if this is your first time here. If it is, hi, hello. <laughs> I am Marla Chris. This is what I do. I'm not a nail tech. I'm not a nail pro. I'm not a nail anything. I'm just a DIYer. I'm actually a full-time mom, full-time cat mom, full-time student. This is just a hobby of mine. I've been doing nails myself for about two years or so. I've learned a lot along the way, and I am not here to tell you what you should be doing, should not be doing. I am here mostly just to share with you my experiences and hopefully give you a little inspiration. So thank you for being here if it's your first time. Definitely consider subscribing if you like this kind of stuff and you like this kind of content. I'd love to have you as part of the Manny fam. If you like this video and this kind of content, feel free to hit that thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. Anyway, moving on. I find that filing this way is saving me a lot of time because what I was doing is I was doing my shape first around my sidewalls and my you know free edge. Then I would go with my e-file and contour my nail. And then I would go back to my hand file because I always found that after contouring with my e-file, I still had a lot of cleaning up to do and the e-file can leave not like harsh lines or, or something like that, but I just found that I needed to blend more with my hand file. So I figured instead of doing a three-step process, why not cut down one of those steps and just start with my e-file? <laughs> so that's what I do now and I am loving it. So you saw me use my e-file. Oh, by the way, this is the Melody Susie 
dust collector slash e-file and I am absolutely in love with it. It'll be in the box. Um, now I'm going in with my hand file. This is a 150 grit hand file and it's now my new favorite hand file. I'll, they'll be in my Amazon storefront. If I can find the Melody Susie equipment, I'll leave that in my storefront too. Um, but this is my new favorite file. It's not harsh. I don't cut my cuticles. I don't, I don't cut anything. Make sure you're seasoning your hand files, by the way. Make sure you take off that sharp edge of a new file because that will cut you. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get my shape cleaned up on all of my nails and do all my blending and contouring and all that fun stuff. I'm going to let you guys zone and watch for just a little bit, but I will come back and we'll get into all the nail arty type stuff. So don't go anywhere. Okay, I've gotten all my nails de-dustified, and now I'm going to start with the nail arty type stuff. This is iGel's Shell Gray Gel Polish, so it's a coordinating color to the dip that I have on. And I'm going to do, I don't know, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> it's kind of like a V French, but a very, very high V French, so it's kind of like negative space-ish. And this gel polish is not very opaque, so I do three coats of this three you're only going to see one because there's no reason to sit here and watch me do it three times <laughs> so i'm going to do that and again this is why i did the clear earlier i tried initially to do this color block style where i dipped into the shell gray the same way i'm doing this with the gel polish right now and i'm way too like ocd for that kind of stuff because the lines had to be perfect they had to be symmetric and even still, like with the gel polish, it's so difficult to do that, but I was not having it with the dip powder. If you want to color block with dip powder, by all means, if that's your thing, go for it. Um, if you want to see a video on how to color block, I'll leave that in the cards for you guys. It's not difficult, um, especially if you're using tape. Super easy to do with tape. You can do it free, freestyle too. Uh, if you guys saw my um, candy corn mani, that's how I freestyle, I guess, if you will, <laughs> my color block. Um, but for the sake of, again, uh, me not wanting to lose my mind and throw all my nail stuff everywhere, I said, nope, we're just going to do gel polish. 
Um, I'm going to use, coming up, uh, more gel polish and some alcohol. I'll get to that, I guess, here in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cure each layer of this gel polish for at least 30 seconds in my LED. Uh, I think that's pretty universal, by the way. If you're using an LED or a UV combo, uh, it's usually 30 seconds for polish or base gel and 60 for top coat. If you're using a UV, like a straight UV lamp, those times may be different. It's usually longer with UV. It's like a minute and two minutes instead of 30 seconds in a minute. But read your instructions. I have the um, I have a couple of different lamps. I have one by iGel Beauty and one by Nail Addict LA. Believe, as soon as I got these lamps, I reached out to the companies and said, hey, what is your recommended cure time? And they will tell you. It doesn't hurt to reach out to a company and ask the questions because I'd rather know and do it right than get it wrong and be like, ugh, this lamp sucks because it's probably not the lamp's fault. <laughs> At least if you know you're following the directions and something's not going right, then you may have a problem, you know? Anyway, I digress. Moving on to a little more nail art. As you see, I have my little shot glass of alcohol, not of the drinking variety, <laughs> just for clarification. I'm gonna grab a little bit of gel polish and we're gonna do a little marble. This is black gel polish from iGel Beauty. It's the At Midnight. Again, all these colors are coordinated to the dip powders, um, but you can use any polish you have on hand. I'm gonna do a little marble on this one nail. I'm gonna do all of the nails that are marble. There are four of them. They're all gonna be done the exact same way. So I'm only gonna show you one, again, for the sake of saving time, but I'm doing all of them the exact same way. So I put the gel polish on kind of in a jagged little Y, if you will. And now I'm gonna take this brush, just a skinny little striping type brush, and I've got some alcohol and I'm going to dilute that color so that it looks more like a marble. I, I posted this Manny in the Facebook group after I filmed it. And a lot of people were saying, especially on the black nails, that it looked like lightning. And I'm like, that is super cool looking. It really does. I didn't think about it at first because I knew what I was going for in my head. But the black, wait till you see the black nails later, looks like lightning. I'm going to go. I'm going to let you guys watch for just a bit. Um, this might be a good Zen moment for you. I don't know. If you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment down below. Um, in my description box, I don't know if you guys ever hop in there, but there is a link to my Facebook group if you're not already in there and you would like to be. Also is my Instagram handle so you can follow me or message me on there if you need to. My email address is in there. Everything you need is in the box. So definitely feel free to hop in there and check it out. But I will be back for the next step. So I've gotten all four of those nails done and marbled and they look adorable. So now we're gonna move on to some stamping. I am gonna use the liquid latex that you guys know how much I love. <laughs> Stuff reminds me of snot when you have to take it off, it's so gross. Anyway, I didn't want to get stamping polish in that negative space. I only want the stamp on the part that I gel polished. So that's why I'm using the liquid latex you absolutely don't have to if you don't want to. You can clean it up later with some uh, acetone if you really want to. I don't know. I was I was feeling in the mood. Like maybe I, this was the day of like giving stuff a second chance. <laughs> I'm giving liquid latex another chance. Striping tape gets another chance. It all worked out really nicely in the end, if I do say so myself. But it was a challenge. This Manny did not take an hour. This Manny took like three hours. <laughs> it was such a pain in the ass. <laughs> you ever guys ever have that Manny that you just struggle with the entire time? Even the marble. Like you guys saw me speed through that marble, but getting it exactly how I wanted it took a really long time. And I had considered using like 
alcohol ink or blooming gel to do it and you know either way would have been fine but i know that some of you guys don't have the alcohol ink some of you guys don't have the blooming gel so i figured what's the you know easiest way to do that and you could absolutely do that with regular nail polish instead of alcohol you would use acetone and you can have the same exact look in case you were curious so i'm going to go ahead and get the stamp on i let my liquid latex dry for a good like 10 minutes super quick super easy stamp and this is what makes it like more on the halloween side since it is spider webs and a couple of little bitty spiders didn't want to go nuts speaking of spiders oh my god i had a freak out moment you guys need to hear this so i was outside watering my basil <laughs> Which sounds weird enough because Marla could kill plastic plants, I promise. But I've had this little basil bush that I planted um, a few months ago, hoping that maybe something has changed, maybe my karma has changed, and I could keep this damn thing alive. And wouldn't you know, it's still thriving, and I'm super proud of it. But anyway, I'm outside watering the basil, and I look down at the entryway to get into my front door, and wouldn't you know, there's a giant spider giant not like a wolf spider like i could have sworn this thing was gonna you know bite me and kill me so of course i step on it and this spider um apparently was holding like eight million spider babies i never screamed so loud in my life and ran into my house <laughs> it was so horrible and traumatic i i don't know what happened to them i'm hoping they're not mad at me and they don't try to attack i guess we'll find out Anyway, back to nails. Have you guys had experiences like that with bugs? Florida bugs are insane. Insane. I think this is probably like Florida. I would classify as the American Australia if I had to. Everything here will kill you. Anyway, I'm putting on a little uh, top coat. I'm going to do glossy top coat on all of my nails first. And then I'm going to do matte top coat um, on some of them. I put glossy on first. Um, just because I find that putting glossy top coat, I'm totally lying to you right now, by the way, I'm putting on <laughs> gel base. <laughs> this is, see, well, I don't know why y'all listen to me. I really don't. Gel base coat. And that will help prevent your gel top coat from chipping. Again, this is something you don't need to do. You don't have to use gel at all if you don't want to. You can absolutely use your dip top coat um, for the stamp. I'm going to leave a video in the cards about stamping polish because there are certain ways you can do it with dip powder. But I put the gel base on so I could attach these freaking little striping tape things because gel base dries the tacky layer. And I figured that might be an easy way to get these little striping tape things on and have them stay on. <laughs> it kind of worked. It was a little bit of a pain to get it on just the way I wanted it. But once I did, it was fine. And I'm going to go ahead and top coat over that and then snip off the ends and you'll see it'll look okay. And then we're going to put on just one teeny tiny little black gem in the center of that V where that spider web is. And then we're going to call this Manny a day. I'm going to let you guys finish watching. I'm going to get everything finished up and I'll be back with you guys for my final thoughts.
All right, y'all, here is the finished Manny. I, I'm kind of loving it. <laughs> it's so not my normal like style of stuff. This was so many things, <laughs> so much going on, I know, but I'm, I'm kind of living for it a little bit. What do you guys think? I love the marble. The marble is probably my favorite. Like, I kind of want to marble all my manis now. <laughs> but you guys would get bored, and that wouldn't be good for any of us. So, I don't know. It's what it is. But I kind of like it. The The spider stamp, I think, is the perfect little Halloween accent. I And the striping tape. I don't know that it really did anything, but I felt like it just it was a little extra something. You know me. I got to be a little bit extra. I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> I hope it inspires you in some way. Please don't forget to come back on Halloween for ghost stories. I can't wait to read them. Y'all, I'm stoked. If you like ghost stories, you are not going to want to miss it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being subscribed. And I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.